Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Project title is Towards Online Shortest Path Computation. Let's see the abstract. The online shortest path problem aims at computation the shortest path based on live traffic circumstance. This is very important in modern car navigation system as it helps drivers to make sensible decisions. To our best knowledge, there is no efficient system or solution that can offer affordable cost at both client and server sites for online shortest path computation. Unfortunately, the conventional client server architecture scales poorly with the number of clients. A promising approach is to let the server collect live traffic information and then broadcast them over radio or wireless network. This approach has excellent scalability with the number of clients. Thus, we develop a new framework called Live Traffic Index, which enables drivers to quickly and electively collect the live traffic information on the broadcasting channel. An impressive result is that the driver can compute or update the shortest path result by receiving only a small fraction of the index. Our experimental study shows that LTA is robust to various parameters and it offers relatively short tune in cost. Fast query response time, small broadcast size, and the little maintenance time for online shortest path. We consider the traffic of the path as a main factor. The distance is calculated between the source to destination, and then the midpoint has been calculated for a given source. The paths from the source to midpoint will be fetched, and in the same way, the midpoint to destination paths also be fetched using KNN algorithm. The KNN used to fetch the nearest and mode information. Finally, the shortest path will be calculated using Digistra's algorithm. The Digistra algorithm used to select the shortest path and omit the others. It's having many advantages. Firstly, it consumes less time to travel. Accurate results can be fetched. Traffic is the major factor. Midpoint is calculated and according to that process will happen. As well as the distance, traffic and the midpoints are most important factor in this find the best way. Let us see the flow diagram. The first step is to find the location of source and destination. The location of the source and destination will be entered by the user in letters. The latitude and longitude of the source and destination will be fetched with the help of the network connection. The address which is entered with the process on the web map page and the latitude and longitude of the location will be fetched to show the current location of source and destination in the map format. The second step is to calculate the distance. Usually if we want to find the shortest path, first the distance of between source and destination should be calculated. The distance is the main factor to measure the best path. The distance is calculated in the basis of latitude and longitude of the source and destination. Normally, the distance is calculated distance between two locations as the same way. Then we calculate the distance in the basis of latitude and longitude of the given input location. Using the latitude and longitude, the distance can be calculated in this module. The third step is to find mid value finder. After calculating the distance, we need to find out the mid value. Usually, the mid values is used to fetch the multiple path from source to mid, mid value and mid value position to destination. Using the latitude and the longitude and the distance the find mid value will be fine. This is the position to fetch the multiple path from source to mid value, mid value to the decision. If the mid value is calculated, the possible location will be fetched. First, the possible path from source to mid value will be find out. Next, the possible paths will be find out. Totally, n number of paths will be found. The nearest path will be picked by the help of the KNN algorithm. It is used to fetch the nearest path from the given source to destination. From the n number of path, traffic signal will be fetched. According to the path, the traffic signal will be added for the path. Let's see the project. Click sign up button to register. Here you have to register your name and the username, password, confirm password. Click sign up button to register. A new account created successfully. Enter the respective username and the password. 
click sign in button to log in successfully enter the source and destination press fetch latitude longitude button to get the source latitude longitude and destination latitude longitude informations click on to the next button here the source and destination latitude longitude will be displayed to calculate the added distance we need this latitude longitude now we have to find the mid value for the source and destination go to find mid value button because we need to find the midpoint from the source and destination click mid value to find out the middle place go to fe fetch place button the middle place will be displayed here click next button to get the source and midpoint values press this one latitude and longitude has been fetched successfully to find the traffic signals click this one the traffic has been verified import the traffic signals the data set will be extracted to view the traffic signals press this one you can see the latitude longitude and distance values go to next button you can view the shortest path and the signals and the calculated time to get the final path the final path can be viewed for your source and destination this graph shows the comparison between existing and the proposed one thank you